This is Tesla on the five minute time frame. I'm going to give you price targets for Tuesday. We ended the day at $252.08, down more than a half a percent. The day's low, $251.36. The day's high, $258.74. We ended here at negative two standard deviations. Above that takes us back to the middle of the trend, and that is roughly 260.15. If we make it up to the next level at two standard deviations, and this is resistance, that would be 269.25. If we hit this area, I will definitely anticipate a sell-off. And above that mark is three standard deviations, and that would take us to 273.79. And fingers crossed, we should make it to this level, 278.34. I will not hold my breath. Now, to the south side, at negative three standard deviations, that takes us to roughly 246.50. And at negative four standard deviations, that takes us to 241.95. Ignore this red line and this red line. Those lines are previous price targets that we have already hit on TradingView. Now, there are some gaps still in play that I've talked about in the past. Brought up this one on the 13th. It's a gap to the downside that takes us all the way to 239.18. We are not in that channel just yet, but we are close. So something to be aware of, be aware of. And to the south side of that, this gap takes us down to 22404. There are other gaps to the south side, but I will bring that up when we get closer to those marks. The RSI is turning down at 38. And I will show you what the RSI looks like on the daily. Ignore my chart, it's a hot mess because I've marked it out so many times. But on the RSI, we are turning down at 61. On the daily, on the weekly, we are also falling. And on the monthly, we are going up at 53. Now the next stock I wanna go over is NEO. We ended the day at $8.35, up 4.64%. The day's low, 8.23. The day's high, $8.64. The one year price target is $10.47 which represents a 25% increase from where we are. We are nearing support right here to the north side first. I'll go and talk about the upside potential. Back to the middle of the trend. We'll take us to 854. This is resistance. It'll get choppy through here a little bit and then I, I think it will go up. To the north side of that at two standard deviations and another level of resistance and potential take profit area, 885, 901, and 917. To the south side, there's a gap that begins at roughly 829, negative two standard deviations, and support, where I anticipate a bounce, is roughly 823, 807, and the gap closes to the downside at roughly $9.98, nine, $7.98. To the south side of that, there's another gap play that closes out at roughly $7.43. And to the north side though, we are not in this channel, not in this zone. We are a long ways off, but there's a gap play to the upside at 9.62, closes out at 10.30, and again, the one year price target is 10.47. So we are very close to that level if we close out this gap. 
ignore these other lines. These are previous support and resistance that I draw out for myself. And this is what I also like to do. I will draw out the middle for the following day so I can gauge where price hits. All right, and if we make it back to the middle of the trend and we are going up, we will grind along here. But if we are neutral, I will anticipate grinding along here. And if it's a negative day, kind of staying in between this range. But I always anticipate price to stay within negative two, two standard deviations. Where did the, oh, there we go. So negative two standard deviations. If we pass two, note the sell off. This takes us back to support, back to resistance, back to the support area, back up, down, anywhere in this range two and negative two. Any time we go out, that's an outlier, basically a sell signal. And if we are down here, let me move this, oops. To reset this. If we hit, let me just redraw this, outside of negative two, that is a buy signal for me. And then I always play within negative two and two standard deviations and push it sometimes to three and sometimes to four, but I always expect price to stay within that range of negative two and two. And just as a quick little bonus, I am going to show you IWM. This is the small caps. ETF and apparently big money market makers are rotating out of tech, big tech, and into small caps. So I wanted to go over this. I've tracked this in the past, but right now we are at 197.11. I don't think I've ever made a chart for it, but I track it for myself. I have another ETF that's a small cap, but it's not IWM. I forget the name of it, but I'll uh, bring it up at some other point. I have a lot, a lot of shares. All right, 197.11 is where we ended. And the day's low, 196.68. The day's high, 198.77. So to the north side, back at the baseline where I always expect price to grind at $200.12 and 206.50, 209.83. And should we be so lucky as to get to this level, don't hold your breath if for that to take place in one day, is 213. And if we do get there, either here, here, or here, I will anticipate a sell off. Now to the south side, this right here begins a gap as well and we close it out at negative two standard deviations and that will take us to basically 193.57. If we hit that, that will be support. I will anticipate a bounce. If we go to the south side of that, the next level for me is 190.50 and 187.19. Let's take a look at this on the daily time frame. So big picture, I just drew something out for myself. I think price could maybe go to $300. They don't give you price targets on ETFs, so you have to figure that one out yourself. You can do fundamental analysis, all kinds of things, or um, perhaps Fibonacci. Okay, but anyway, we are, let me move this one out of the way. Oh, 
I'll just delete that. We are right here. We are at resistance on the daily time frame. So at resistance, I always anticipate a sell-off as people take their profits and they run. Looking back, this happened right here, flush down, here, down, here, down. There's a meltdown. I hear people say a melt up. That drives me batty. Things don't melt up. You melt down like butter. So this just ran like crazy up. And back here, resistance, sell off. Support, support, support. Bounced off at support. Lots of levels in between to trade. And let me show you the weekly time frame. We are at the middle of the trend on the weekly. So to the north side would take us to roughly 249.30. 273.29 and at four standard deviations, 298.59. And this is where I marked out this price target for me, roughly taking it to 308. Now to the south side, the range is 152.45. This is gonna take a while to get here if it does. If you think it's going down, the next level, 126.71 and Hopefully we won't get down to this level again, but that would be 102.28. And that's where we had the run up, looking left. And if you flip this on the different time frames, it will give you different buy and sell signals depending upon what your objective is. If you are just day trading, swing trading, scalping, Right. And note the RSI is not quite overbought, but getting there. I just use this as support and resistance. And let me show you the monthly. And this is what we're looking like here. If you want to get this on a grid, like a line that you, um, the negative two to negative two to two standard deviations, you'll have to change your length on the linear regression because I have mine set at 300. All right, so in this case, I don't know if you guys like to play the grid lines. So the next target could be this line, 204.12-ish maybe. Uh, let me turn on the, the uh, bot, there's an indicator here, you bot alerts. You can use that to help you guide you. I don't really use the bots because I like to play a certain range myself, but sometimes I turn it on just for some guidance. All right, the bot says to buy. <laughs> All right, that does it for me. If there is a stock that you would like me to go over, please let me know. And thanks so much for watching.